Hare Krishna. Suppose an army is fighting a war and that army has limited resources. If it starts fighting wars that are not winnable, say for example, if a mountain range blocks the army's path, if the army decides that you know we will break down this mountain so that we can attack those on the opposite side. Now that might all well be impossible if they have limited resources or if they start fighting a war in which victory is not definable that say there are some insurgents in a particular area but what do you want to do? Do you want to remove, eliminate all the insurgents? Do we want to remove all those who are supporting the insurgents? Do we want to annihilate the whole group of people? Who, from whom the insurgents are rising. What? If victory is not even definable, then fighting the war, it becomes a waste because how do we rate success in a war also? Now, this, uh, this kind of wars may be fought in the outer world for political gains because of the military industrial complex. But in our inner world also something similar happens. Our, em our emotions especially get caught in, in wars over issues. So the mind often gives rise to very strong emotions which don't help us at all. So for example, consider when the mind might get us fighting wars that are not winnable. There are many things in life which are just not changeable. And if we keep resenting that which is unchangeable, then we simply hurt ourselves, we ruin ourselves. So resentment of reality often hurts more than reality. And uh, if we keep fighting wars that are not winnable, then we destroy, we, we waste our energy uh, and we don't have the energy left to fight wars that are actually winnable. So some things just can't be changed. The past can't be changed, for example. And in sometimes some ongoing, we have some relationship issues with some people and they might gossip about us and we gossip about them and especially if you're in a very close relationship, then what is the point of such gossiping? What are we going to achieve by that gossiping? No one, just don't know. So actually speaking, the mind uh, is, we can't even define victory. What do we want to do? Do we really... If we consider a person like a spouse who is in a very close relationship and we, uh, we argue against them and we completely defeat them and we expose their, their wrongdoings to others and we humiliate them, we may think we have won the war, but is that really victory? If we have to live with that person and they are miserable, they will, their misery will come upon us sooner or later and it will make us miserable. So we need to very carefully recognize that Actually, we all have to fight responsibly, fight intelligently. And the most worthwhile war to fight is the war to serve our Lord. To use whatever situation and whatever resources we have internally and externally to try to connect with the Lord, to serve the Lord. And thereby, we can find that is a war which can be won and winning which is meaningful. So... If that's why the Bhagavad Gita tells us that the mind can be both our enemy and our friend. Banduratma atmanastasya yenatmai vatman ajitaha anatmanastu chatrutve varte tatmai va chatruvat. Depending on what kind of war we are fighting, we can decide, we, we are fighting, it will determine whether our mind is working as our friend or as our enemy. Thank you. Hare Krishna.